So this is the Sleep Fairyland Elves. Uh, the description is connect everything in the universe and reveal the answer in your heart. Guided by ancient legends, the profound mysteries of nature are opened. The quote, sleep turns into an elf in fairyland and sneaks among the pages and cards to explore the secrets of the universe. Hey everybody, it's me, Erica, and I'm super, super excited to be unboxing another Sleep Elves with you. I kept the entire set of the Ocean Sleep Elves, those I was absolutely obsessed with. This is one of their newer ones. It might, might be the newest. There might be one more new one after this that's flower themed, but this one is fairly new. So I'm super excited to open this with you today. And I've actually done a little bit of research because these are tarot themed. So I went through my tarot cards uh, and made sure I was familiar with uh, what each of the cards that these stand for mean. This also looks like it has a different kind of box as it has a hole in the lid, and I wonder if we could save this beautiful, it's not quite lenticular, but it's definitely sparkly, and we will unwrap that. A light self-spoiler for any watchers. I may have confused death and the devil in uh, the unboxing, so when we get there, in the future Erica, well, it would be past Erica, this is future Erica, but the future Erica in this video anyway one of the ericas told you the wrong thing and death and the devil have been flip-flopped but in the readovers at the end where i show you each one all by itself and read you the description that came from the company uh that one is correct so sorry okay evidently i just lost all the footage from uh the first unwrapping but i struggled to get into it as usual nothing's been opened uh, but I do have this cool plastic so that gives you any idea of the texture and it's like not quite sparkly I think it's just the texture of the design but this box is unlike I've ever seen before it previously looked like this this is the part that tears off this part stays like this I guess but I'm wondering if we're like supposed to stick this in the front as the box facing card that really wouldn't make sense either because then it wouldn't um it wouldn't be the boxes aren't visible like it overhangs the top so this is a very different box than i'm used to i'm not sure if this is just supposed to be the backer like thusly and it might be i am not sure but what i thought was really interesting about this kit is that they did like really dark kind of characters, to be honest. Um, they picked really heavy cards like the High Priestess, the Devil, Death, the Hanged Man, the Moon, the Hierophant, the Hermit, and the Lovers. And so I did some extra tarot research just to be sure. The Hidden Editions, I want to say, are... Uh, one of them's the Magician, and the other one is uh, some sort of goddess. But these are the, all the ones we should get. If there's any rares, I would be surprised. They're extremely rare. Uh, if you try to buy them separately, and it's one of the hidden editions with um, 52 toys and the Sleep Elves, they usually run about $80 to $100 if it's one of the special ones. I've seen them as much as $180. let us see what Tarot Elf we have gotten. All right, our first Tarot Elf... Looks like we'll be, oh, it's the, I think this is the, the very first one. This is the High Priestess. I always open the very first one that's on the box as my first open. Historically, that has happened more times than once. If I had an editor, I'd ask them to go check. I don't. Okay, so we have a desiccant packet. I'll get rid of that in a safe way. We have our pretty box. Here's her card. You can see her little basket. So this is the High Priestess. And based on my research, uh, the High Priestess signifies spiritual enlightenment, inner illumination, divine knowledge and wisdom. She shows up uh, generally in your tarot card readings when uh, the veil between you and the underworld is thin. 
And you have the opportunity to access knowledge from deep within your soul and unlock it. Uh, the cards have a very different uh, uh, description for them. They're a little bit mistranslated, I think, but they're still cute. And I will read those all out at the end, what the Sleep Elves Company describes them as. I'll read those all out at the end because they're a little bit funny. Okay, so here's her paper. I always save all the boxes in case I give them to friends or sell them. And does her head pop off? Yes, so we can pull the plastic off. That's more normal on a non-small children's themed toy. And let's look at her. She is beautiful. There's her little marking. Her hair is super, super pretty and detailed. Not a ton of ombre, which they're kind of known for. There's some here on her headpiece. And her little feeties are floating off the ground. Oh, she's wearing, she's wearing some garters. Goodness. But they do have very detailed, I hope you can see that, little feet. The flowers are super nice. So there is our High Priestess. Lovely. All right. Let's set her on her card where we can enjoy her. Not sure what is a better angle for this. I want you to be able to see, but I want you to be able to see them. Okay, maybe that's better. Let's try that. Box number two, in no particular order. See, I feel like now it's too close. Okay, we will cut. God bless a sharp knife. I haven't almost cut my hand off yet today. Okay, let's see who we've got. It looks like... Oh, I think this is the Hermit. Uh, the Hermit is a really interesting card. Um, if this is the Hermit. Here's her card. Different color backing. And here she is. I believe the Hermit is depicted on a mountain of ice in the original uh, tarot arcana. So I think that um, they're typically alone on top of a mountain. Uh, they have a snow-capped mountain and that's like spiritual mastery, growth, and accomplishment. Um, the hermit has chosen a path of self-discovery and as a re uh, result has like reached a heightened state of awareness. Um, <laughs> I'm sure the translation of whatever they wrote about it will sound much different than that. Here's her little box, and let's briefly remove her head. Ma'am, I'm very sorry. I need your plastic. That one even had a rip thing on the plastic. I could have ripped it. Okay, so here she is. She looks a little bit more like she's being uplifted by water. I'll say that. But her backless dress is a really nice touch. The little hands are always perfect. I do love that they really make things transparent and play with the opacity of their plastics because I think that's such a nice detail that you can really, really see her toes, but like her modesty, if she needed it, was protected. But here's the hermit. She has very pointy owl ear, elf, elf ears. Oh my goodness. I love how complicated her hairstyle is. That's really lovely. Like you can actually see how it wraps around and would theoretically come down. A very nice detail, got kind of an icy pearlescent, if anything, skirt, or maybe just like a different shininess. But she's got a very sweet face. And another detail I really like about these, if you can see it, is their 3D lashes. I think that's such a cool detail because it's such a little tiny lip of paint to paint from like a, a, a upside down perspective. Like if you had to paint this tiny little eyelash under there, that'd be extreme. So here is our hermit. She is lovely. Love that. Number three. And I've truly never gotten a rare unboxing ever. I've never gotten a hidden, a hidden one. All right, who have we got in here? Let's pull her out or him or her. Genderless elf. Ooh, I think this one is the hanged man. Another kind of dark card to choose <laughs> for a toy. But I love the exploration of the art for sure. Uh, the Hanged Man, 
is typically um, being unable to help yourself. Like you're trapped uh, through your own in independent actions. Uh, your energy is kind of trapped in awaiting judgment. So it's when you can't gain control until just the awfulness is passed, basically. And it's uh, it represents like a good time to be philosophical and kind of thinking about what has gotten you into that per situation. So this would be the hanged man, which I guess is a hanged elf lady. They're kind of femme. I don't want to gender the elves, but you know, they're uh, a little bit femme trending. But here's the beautiful card. And the hanged man is always depicted hanging from a crucifix. So that's not unusual. Ooh, this is a really nice one as far as the, the hard work and paint job. Let's see. Ugh, come on. Okay. Look at the paint job on this one. Wow. So there's a chain. There's this fun, uh, semi-opaque, translucent blue. Little, <laughs> little upside down, like butt wings almost. I'm not... Horns? Little wings? But the hair design is super gorgeous. And the sleep elves, no one does these like highly movement capturing swirly stuff better. Absolutely no one. It's so nice with the ombre and everything. J'adore. That's a great one. Okay, so that's the hanged man. Number four. Let's see who we got. And I seem to be going at a pretty good pace. I'm trying not to make my videos too, too long. So it's more like a 20 minute part of a lunch break rather than a one hour TED talk, even though TED talks are 20 minutes. Maybe I am trying to make it like a TED talk. That's faster. Not a movie, a TED talk. Okay, who did we get in here? This looks like, who is this? Oh, this must be, um, is this Death or the Hierophant? I think this is the Hierophant. They have no English on them. I do not think they are actually in intended for an English market in any way. And I just buy these. Okay, so here is what I believe to be the Hierophant. She has wings, just very swirly card. Very nice. Oh, her head is already off. Neat. <laughs> That's a little scary. And she... Oh, it's a tassel. It looked like a, it looked like a badminton item. If you hear any thundering, it's the cats rampaging in the upstairs that the cats have. Sorry about that. Uh, the Hierophant card is usually uh, focused on your set of like spiritual values. Um, before you can discover your own belief systems, you have to go to like a master, basically. Uh, the Hierophant also encourages you to just learn the fundamental principles of whatever you are doing. Okay, so her hat came, her head came off like already, like it was uh, not attached when she arrived. So we'll handle that situation. Very beautifully painted and definitely uh, smells a little more like paint. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but it's uh, I think the metallic paint that is on this is just a little different smelling or stronger smelling of paint. All right, so her head is on. I think that's as far as it goes. Very detailed, very detailed. A lot of even like blushing on her cheeks. That's really visible. She's got the pretty ears, a lot of ombre details going on in her hair. Ooh, naked booty, oh my. And then a big ruffling cloak that actually is what supports her. It's flat on the bottom. Little hand details, this big swooshy tassel, so neat. And it's like a little, almost like little moons, but I think they are supposed to be like bells. Yeah, I'm looking at them closer and they look like bells, but she's beautiful. So that is the Hierophant or like a master of knowledge. Alrighty, so that's four. Let's see who else we've got. And again, sorry for the cat thundering. It's rainy outside and that makes them wild. Diddle devil babies. If one of them jumps the fence, I'll let you know. All right, who do we have here? 
Ooh, I think this is death. I believe this is the death card. Let me get all this trash out of the way. Trash, trash. Here's her card. Very pretty. And then we have uh, generally like a death, a death card is when a major phase in your life is ending and another one is beginning, you will get the death card. It does not mean your death is pending uh, unless you're dying, I suppose. Then it, then it might mean that. But if you're not actually dying, I do not think that one should associate that. Okay, this one has plastic separating her. Very nice to keep the paint intact. Oh, she has little snakes. Okay, let's look at her. Oh, I still haven't moved the trash. Come on, Erica. There we go. Okay, let's look at her. So this is death. Obviously a transition from dark to light. She has a beautiful snake in her hair. There's a cat yelling at me. And, oh, her hair falls down into snakies too. Look how pretty. She's got a lot of blushing on her skin and her face, more so than I normally see on these dolls. She's got big lashes, which is so pretty. I hope the details are helpful to you guys in deciding if you ever want any. Oh, the whole back is snakes. She's got extra snakes on the back, or one extra. But I love the snakes. These ones look kind of like peeps, if you have marshmallow peeps in America. But here is the death card with her snakes. That is definitely a keeper. All right, next one. The cat seems to have solved her own problem, whatever it happened to be. She's not running at least. All right, I feel like now you can't see what I'm doing. All right, who have we got here? I think this is going to be the lovers based on the color coming out and what we have left. Oh, very pretty. I was worried that this one would be kind of overly generic. Ooh, this one really smells of paint as well. If you are paint sensitive, this is the smelliest set I've opened. Here's her card. Uh, the lovers doesn't necessarily mean like romantic lovers. Uh, it's just a conscious connection of meaningful relationships. Um, it usually shows that you have a beautiful soul that honors connection with any loved one. Um, it's a card of open communication and honesty. Uh, usually there's a man and a woman on this card. Ooh, I feel scared taking your head off. Uh, anyway, so it, it shows that you have to be in your most vulnerable state to be able to communicate. And this one is really pretty. Let me get the trash out the way. Let's see her. Okay. Beautiful little detail on her hair vine. So pretty. She has little uh, feathered wings behind her ears. I love that sometimes you can really see the separation between the hair and the ears. It doesn't look like a solid molded piece because it's not. It's done in two pieces and they attach them. Her lashes are all beautiful and painted. The pearls around her, very Aphrodite-esque. And really pretty muted ombre for her hair. I just love the detail. I wish that my hair would naturally make that shape, to be perfectly honest. And she's also kind of hanging on her tippy toes, like the Hierophant and like the High Priestess. And like the, oh, they're all kind of, most of them are doing it, other than our little buddy who's folded up. So they're all kind of suspended like they would be on a tarot card, I guess. Next one, getting down to the last two in the set. And, ooh, oh Lord, we've been so safe today. Let's not cut off a finger. Here we go. Who's it gonna be? Let's see, ooh. This is the moon, I think, yeah. She's got kind of an Artemisian vibe going. Here is her card, very pretty. It's supposed to be sheaves of wheat, I think. The descriptions of these are wild. When I uh, read them at the end, you will assuredly laugh. Okay, so here she is. She's also in the dangling pose. Ironically, she's wearing a moon. 
erase a sun on her head when she is the moon. Um, interesting choice. Let's get her plastic off. Okay, there we go. She does have gorgeous hair, though. I will say that. Look at her. I love her little zoop. Like, she's zooming forward. They're so good at putting so much movement into their pieces at this company. 52 Toys' designs, and then how, uh, or I guess, whomever designs the Sleep Elves, but 52, Desi 52 Toys' designs makes these. And they do such a good job in production. Like, there's so much detail. Like, there's still little shading on her knees and her toes underneath. So pretty. Like, even under here, there's the detail of their clothing and their body. It's so nice, the quality on these. So she has a sun and a moon, I guess, in her hair. And she has her arrows. It is coming out of a wheat, maybe? That's kind of wheat-like. Alrighty, and then... Ah! Oh my god, no, not death. That's the last one we need to tee off. Okay. Last... Oh my gosh, now the whole world is falling in on us. There's too many. Okay, here we go. Last little friend, sister here. And it should be... I think the only one we haven't gotten is... Uh... We haven't gotten uh, death, no, the devil. We haven't gotten the devil. And she's flocked, I think. This should be the devil, and it is. Let's get her box and trash out of the way. Eh. Box and trash check. And here is the devil. Beautiful card. And she also is coming in two parts to start. Probably because she's flocked. That's a lot of different glue that has to cure and stuff. Oh, cool. Okay, wait. Let me attach her head before I get too excited here. She is super duper cool. Okay, last one. Let's put her head on. Oh, she's really neat. I really like her. Oh, her head's a little hard to get back on once you take it off. Oh, I didn't take this one off. I can't be blamed for this. This was them. Okay, so her entire bottom is flocked. It's all foofy and soft and fuzzy. I'm trying to get it to focus. It's so cool. And then she is wrapped up in bandages. Her hair details are so neat. They're all swirled up into horns. It makes it look very natural, like they grew that way. And like ringlet curls in the back, very detailed. And she's the only one that doesn't have, I think, a human skin tone. Yeah. These are gorgeous, as ever. I have no idea whom I will keep. They're all super nice. I might share them with friends. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed this, and now I will read you the wackadoodle, uh, <laughs> the wackadoodle things that are translated uh, that they say that each one is about. So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe if you can. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. It would really help me out as an artist and a creator. I would sincerely appreciate your kindness. So see you next time. Bye. The Lovers is meet under the call of an angel. Lovers write romantic chapter together. Sleep witness the occurrence of love. It is brighter than pearls. The Moon says, white dress as if moonlight pouring down. Ears of wheat symbolizing a good harvest are tied around the waist. The arrow of the moon goddess breaks the dawn. It will bring the hope of life. The Devil sleep fairy is the boundary between black and white is heavily guarded the seductive snake shuttles through it greedy people are swayed by desire thus stop exploring the footsteps of life the hanged man is listed as the truth is hanged on the crucifix iron chains bound the faith the hanged man embraces the faint fire and waits for the day of liberation 
The Hermit lists, Chasing the ideal country in front of you, adventurers only rest on rainy nights. Sleep slowly disappears into the ethereal realm and starts accumulating energy and vitality. The High Priestess is listed as Endless Wisdom Paves the Way, Warm Flowers Imprisoned in Cages, The Power and the Freedom, The Splendor Above and the Prison Below. What is the destination of fate? Death is listed as inky clouds and mist rise in the sky and forebode the coming of death. Before the ending, brave people who don't choose to run away because all endings are new births. The Hierophant is listed as unwavering faith and ancient wisdom forges supreme authority. The Pope is the interpreter of the unknown and guides people to find the outlet for the soul.